Referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors, a bantamweight division. Tom Wright in the white shorts, Joe Fields in the black. Wright taking center of the cage early. Snapping leg kicks from Wright. And about two inches on fields. See if you can put that to good use. have a, a common opponent, an amateur, Connor Walsh, the fly catcher, one of the top. Yeah. Yeah, that's out there, in my opinion, and Fields lost by a split decision to Walsh. Tom Wright beaten by decision, so two very close contests there. Beautiful level change and takedown there by Fields, and Wright has to be very careful about giving the back up here. This early in the fight, a back take is really significant. Plenty of time to work here, and these guys are going to be very dry. It's going to be very difficult to defend with a slip out of this position. Beautiful inside body triangle here to keep the, the hips parallel to his opponent's back. He's connecting the hand here. The, the angle looks awkward. There's the tap. Wow, what a submission. Joe the Butcher Fields gets the tap in the first round. But look how much it means to him. I mean, that was a really impressive performance. And when you are that dry early on, Fields immediately jumps to the back. There's a small chance there to escape, but he readjusts the angle, takes the back. Brings the arm around the neck. And you see how he moves onto his side by doing this. He takes away his opponent's ability to defend against that wrist grab because he's using the, the mat, he's using the floor to block the defensive hand. The angle wasn't perfect, but it was underneath the neck in a way where there was enough pressure going through to get the tap. Wow, what a submission from Joe at the Butcher Fields. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, calls a stop to this contest after one minute and 55 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of real naked choke in the right corner, Joe the Butcher!